Hear about it. Talk about it now with Matt Patrick. 847 is the time. I'm Roger Hudson. Matt Patrick taking a couple of days off. Maybe to gamble. Who knows? You know, we're one step closer to legalizing at least online video poker here in the state. The Department of uh, Justice has now cleared the way for at least wire transfers that would make that easier to do. Paul Cannon is joining us. He's from LegalizeTexasGambling.com. Paul, I gotta, I gotta believe that you're very excited about this ruling. What does it mean to well, your efforts to legalize gambling here in our state? Well, I think it's it, what, what it means is the federal government's kind of taking a step back and saying it's time to let the states make decisions on their own instead of the federal government stepping in and telling everybody this is what you can do and this is what you can't do. And so we're kind of hopeful that in our next legislative session coming up, this will be a, an indication that the, the federal government's not taking such a challenge to it, but also it opens up a doorway for the state governments to kind of look back and go, we don't have to worry so much about getting in the way of federal laws if we decide to legalize uh, gambling and like poker room type gambling even out of bars and and uh, places that are already in existence here in Texas. So Paul, I think that's the big question everybody has. What would this look like? Are you ta- talking about poker rooms about linking people from Houston and Dallas or is that what we're looking at? Yes, well what this what this does is this this addresses solely with online type gambling. Now it could allow anything from sitting at home and playing online to sitting in bars and playing online the um the one of the big bills that was uh, that's been tried to push through uh in the last few years i think the poker players association is one of the bigger sponsors um and i think jose mendez was the uh, uh the representative was a, it was a bill to legalize poker uh just in the state of texas and one of the models that they were looking at was to actually have and allow bar room type poker where you could have a electronic poker table that was connected and the rake automatically got transferred to the state of Texas through online systems. Um, you could, in theory, hook these things up and have a statewide type tournament if you wanted to. Um, uh, just, you know, the sky's kind of the, the limit with this type of thing, except for. Uh, the border of the state. There's no other limits. So. Sure. Paul Cannon joining us here. He uh, represents a group called LegalizeTexasGambling.com. Paul, so what is the future with this? Now that we have uh, apparently got the okay from the DOJ, does that mean that Governor Perry might finally say that he would sign some legislation to allow gambling in Texas? Well, I think it's kind of a, a big leap to get from that point to the next point. With Governor Perry, it's always been a, you know, he's always been very opposed to gambling expansion in Texas. However, he has made it clear that, you know, in times of economic need, nothing's off the table. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what it's going to come down to is economics. It seems year after year, we, we are, you know, every, every other year with the legislature, we meet and, uh, and there's always this problem of the deficit, and there's always a few bills that are passed to push some of the debt back and extend it and so forth, but it's eventually got to be paid. And we've about cut all the benefits that teachers can cut uh, in the state of Texas, which seems to be the main source of making that up. And so it's really going to come down to uh, what's the budget look like in the next coming session and you know what else options do they really have. So, so Paul, will gaming proceeds actually go into schools for Texas? Well, it it really depends on how you set it up. I think that most of them are uh, would be. It depends on how the bill's done, but it it uh, would be going straight to the government, uh, state government itself, and then the government would have to divide it up. And that's kind of you know the problem that the biggest criticism we had with the whole lottery system was they promised all this money going, mm-hmm. but unfortunately it was then left up to the legislature to decide where it went. Right. And while some money did go into the into the schools, we didn't see it all go where it was supposed to. And so I, I really think there needs to be a specific ear tag designating this amount's got to go to schools and this amount has to go to state taxes and and property taxes and things like that. Well, I'm up against the clock, but before I let you go, real quickly, what what would this cost the state to implement? Do you have any kind of idea, figures? Uh, Implementing-wise? Mm-hmm. All I the don't infrastructure know that... you, de- you defined? I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you talked about. I mean, we have to buy that. Right, and I, I don't know what the exact cost is as far as implementing. I can tell you this much. The, the state itself is not going to have to spend much money on implementing the process because the businesses that want to implement this are excited about doing sure. it. Yeah. Uh, the real implementation is you just have to have a regulatory body that right. can oversee this and can approve that the various casinos are doing what they're 
supposed to be doing. Well, I appreciate your time this morning. That's Paul Cannon from LegalizeTexasGambling.com.